guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm on the uh, train today going between Jerusalem and uh, Tel Aviv. I do this about once a week for business to meet up with clients. Uh, even though I have a car, I personally prefer taking the uh, taking the train because there's uh, no traffic jams, no stress dealing with the roads. And uh, the fast train, you can see behind me in the background, hopefully a little bit here, the beautiful scenery. This is um, what's called now in Israel the fast train. It goes between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. This train is actually destined towards Herzliya, uh, but it stops in the airport. And the transit time between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv is only 30 minutes, so it goes by in a flash. You leave uh, Jerusalem and you're gone. In order to get this train running, firstly it came in over uh, the due date and over budget, unfortunately, but it did finally get running. It's an electrified train. Um, and it replaces an older train that run, ran between Malka and Jerusalem and Yafo uh, that was recently decommissioned. Um, it was like this, really some beautiful scenery to see, but it was a much, much uh, slower train. Uh, so this is now what people use. So nowadays, if you're visiting Israel, there are uh, three different ways to get between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. One, you can take the train like this. Two, you can take a bus. There's two bus lines, uh, 405 and 480, both run very regularly and they're uh, very cheap the transport in Israel is subsidized and finally you can take a Monicho Ot, which is a type of shared taxi facility so you and other people take the taxi together wait for it to go and it goes between the two cities uh, the, Moni the Monicho Ot will run over Shabbat whereas public transport in Israel for the most part except in uh, Haifa stops running so the buses and the trains you can't take over the Jewish Shabbat so this is the train I'm Currently one of the minority of passengers wearing a mask. It's a personal choice. It's no, no, no longer mandatory. Um, and there are uh, USB ports here. So if you want to charge up your phone or your uh, laptop or whatever. And it's a really quick journey time, 30 minutes. So people are working, business people, you know, working on their laptops, other people enjoying the scenery. And um, it's incredibly reliable. It runs every 30 minutes now from Jerusalem, you can check the timetable using an app called Move It, which is a really, really useful app here, or you can also check the uh, Israel Railways app, which is available also in English. And it runs in both directions, very, very punctual, and it's a really, really very uh, pleasant experience. If you need a RAVCAV or a ticket to tap in and tap out, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I do this about once a week for work, and I've come to actually really enjoy it. I usually listen to podcasts or YouTube videos on the way over. We're transversing through the middle of Israel, uh, somewhere between Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Then you get to Haganah, the first uh, train station in Tel Aviv. And then the train stops at Tel Aviv Ashalon, Universidad Tel Aviv. And then it gets there. So now I can come into the airport. And there about. So this is also a great way if you're looking to catch a flight to get to the airport. Again, there are bus options from Jerusalem to the airport. Um, but this is also probably more comfortable and uh, you can also take a taxi of course I would just say one thing that as someone we're now going through a tunnel as you can see as someone living in Jerusalem I think the train has really really changed life pretty quickly in a very good way it's become a lot easier to do business with clients in Tel Aviv um, it's made the two cities closer uh, not physically of course but in the sense of transport and yeah it's a really really good it's one of the few things infrastructural projects in Israel, I can say without doubt, has been a huge, huge value add. It's been a very long business day for me in uh, Tel Aviv and I've returned to Jerusalem now after another 30 minute trip. I'm coming all the way, you go up, up, up from the platform level up to the uh, terminus here in Jerusalem. Yitzchak Navon is the fourth deepest train station. If I just tilt the camera this way, you can see it's like going on the London Underground. Uh, except in the London Underground you go up one escalator here you go up like four or five in a row it's really really deep and this place actually doubles as a bomb shelter in case of uh, chemical warfare in Jerusalem they have these crazy crazy big uh, steel doors and uh, this is one of the deepest train stations in the world I think only beat by Moscow uh, so it's a really long way down it's a really long way up you have to fake you have to factor that into your journey time when you're coming here